Carlos Lara is vigilant, driving the streets of Nashville, responding to calls for help and showing up to potentially high-risk situations, all while the rest of the city is still asleep. And we've had some really dangerous moments where you go, you know, is, is, how's this going to turn out? This isn't, this doesn't feel good. Growing up in a predominantly Hispanic area of Boston, Lara moved to Nashville in 2005. Fast forward to today. He's the first and only Hispanic Metro Police Captain. I'm blessed to be in the position I'm in, and it's just incredible, it's humbling. Starting out as a young officer working patrols to the flex unit and undercover work, Lada then spent some time on Metro's gang unit before joining the L Protector program. And I really enjoyed my time there, and that's where I really started to immerse myself, immerse myself into the Hispanic community here a little bit more. A group of Hispanic officers working to bridge the gap between the Latino community and the department. It's a police force Lara has seen grow along with the community. And we've got a lot more Hispanic officers. We've got, you know, now some Kurdish officers that we didn't have before. Captain Lara mainly works in South Nashville, an area rich in diversity and culture. So it's a place that I feel really comfortable with and I really enjoy working. There's a lot of people, different nationalities out here. You know, like I said, it's, it's like the United Nations out here. And says he's grateful for the bond he's been able to form with other Latinos there. You know, they're much more willing to speak to me because they know I speak their language and they feel more comfortable with somebody who understands their background and, and looks like them. At the end of the day, he's a man with a desire to serve his community. We don't care where you're from. If you're part of our national community, we're going to take care of you and we're going to do what we can to make sure that you're safe just like everybody else. In Nashville, Mara Sirianni, News 2.